Brian Hendricks with Mike Stanley from Highland and we had the hunt of a lifetime this morning here in Marion County. Uh, I don't know, Mike, tell them about it. Oh, uh, just a tremendous hunt. I uh, heard a lot of birds on roost and uh, one of them hunts that could have been bang bang just over in 30 minutes for both of us. We're set up a different place and then uh, the birds got within gun range of you, just couldn't tell if they were jakes or longbeards. I suspect there were three longbeards that we had seen, that I'd seen before, but uh, anyway, uh, and then it went just graveyard dead for about four hours almost, and then uh, just stayed with us. Brian got one fired up. Well, I was in a vulnerable spot up there on, on the hill, I thought, so I, I repositioned down into a spoil pile of cedar down in the middle of the field. Put a chair in the middle of this thing. I found a little opening back there and put out a decoy. And we did all the things they say you can't do. You know, called one across a right, creek and right. called one under a fence. Yeah. And uh, he came up and looked like he was going to ignore my decoy. And then a second bird gobbled on the other side of the right. creek. And he just uh, made a beeline for, I don't know, what, 100 yards or so? He, he came a good long ways, yeah. I was watching it from quite a distance. And it was a, it was an incredible sight to see. I could see the birds strutting and getting closer. I could see the decoy and I could see Brian. I was probably 400 yards away. Uh, up a hillside, but it was it was a pretty amazing sight. I tell you, it was really special. This bird, especially one for for how hard we worked for. But secondly, you know, uh, Mike has been my turkey hunting mentor for a better part of over ten years, and we have exchanged, you know, text in the middle of hunts where, hey, Mike, uh, this bird's doing this. What kind of call should I do? Should right, I fly? Right. Should I? And we've done this stuff in real time, and you've helped me kill birds, and you. Taught me so much about hunting, and to get him with you there to see it was just—it it, it just made it that much more special. Yeah, it, was, it was a ringside seat. It was a rare, rare occurrence to get to be in a hunt, not be right beside somebody, but actually watch it from a long distance away. It was just a, the, the patience. Patience is what killed this bird. Uh, Brian was patient, stayed with it, and. Uh, uh, time of the day, a lot of people would have given up and gone home. And uh, I was ready to. I, was, I did <laughs> yeah. take a couple of naps down there. Yeah. But uh, I tell you what, you know, when you see one of these guys come across the field and then break into strut yeah. the way he did, and he strutted nonstop for, I don't know, 100 yards, you just, I mean, it's what you live for. You just never get tired of it, it never gets old. Yeah, it was just uh, exciting. Ready to go get another one now. Season's almost done, but uh, bottom of the night, but we're still swinging. That's right. Well, hey. Hi, Corona! <laughs> <laughs> there.